So in this next question, we've got the dis displacement. We want to find the displacement of a particle. Well, we've got the displacement, sorry, and as that function. And to find the displacement after three seconds, all we need to do is just sub it in. So where is the uh, particle after three seconds? It's 45 centimetres to the right of the origin. Its initial velocity, well, we know that initial means t is equal to zero. To get our velocity function, we just derive the 2t squared minus 21t plus 60t, which gives us that function. Sub in t is equal to zero. And initially, so when time started, it was moving at 60 centimetres per second in a positive direction. So it's moving to the right, and so it's in a positive direction there. The acceleration after five seconds, again, derive your velocity, or take the second derivative of your, of your position uh, statement, and then substitute five. So we substitute five in, we get it's moving at 18 centimetres per second squared in terms of its acceleration. So it's got a positive force being applied to it, and so it's moving in the positive direction, we assume. It doesn't, not necessarily, but it's, it's acceleration is positive there. At time, find the times when the particles are rest. Well, when it's at rest, the velocity is zero. So we sub it equals zero, and that means we're going to put the velocity statement equal to zero, factorize, we get two and five seconds. So at five seconds, it's actually at rest, okay? And I actually shouldn't, shouldn't have said what I said up here before, because after five seconds, it's, having, it's got a positive force being applied to it, but it's actually at rest, so it must have been moving in a negative direction to start off with. So we got to be careful about what we say there. And the total displacement after the first three seconds. Now, this is a question that's a little bit tricky. Because what we've got to do is look at in the first when t was equal to zero, where it was. So it was at the origin to start off with. After two seconds, it's moved to 52 centimeters to the right of the origin. So, but after two seconds, it starts it, because it was at rest at two seconds. It means it stopped and moved in a negative direction. So. That means that after three seconds, it's back at 45. Now, we can't just say that its displacement was 45 after three seconds, because we want the total displacement. So we want to say, well, how far did it move? It went 52 centimetres, but then it's moved back seven centimetres. So how fast the particle travelled? It's travelled 59 centimetres all up. So we've got to be really careful with this type of question that we see that, oh, okay, in my range from zero to three seconds, has the particle changed direction? If it has, then I've got to check how far it went when it, how far away from the origin it moved or how far away from the starting point it moved and then how far has it moved after it changed direction. So be really careful with that type of question.